Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, just a quick video to show you guys how to break through once your artifact reaches a milestone. I thought I'd do this uh, because I won't be able to do it all the time, so I'm, I'm going to grab the opportunity right now. Right now my artifact is at rank 39. I'm very close to being rank 40. So with the raw materials I have here, I should be able to break through to rank 40. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, once I reach rank 40, there's two things I could do. Uh, in order to break through, like you can see, the chances of success to break through are 95%. So there's a 5% chance that I could fail. If I fail my breakthrough, I will lose my catalyst. I will lose my Dionysium, and I will lose my superior Dionysium, and my artifact will still need to break through. If I want to make sure that I will break through, if I want to give myself a 100% chance, uh, nah, that's not uh, true at all. Actually, if I don't want to lose my catalyst, that's it. I could use the seal of preservation. Uh, basically, the seals, people have been wondering, what do the seals, uh, wh what are the seals for? Basically, I have a 95% chance of success to break through. If somehow I fail my, 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 uh, my success, if some, somehow I fail to break through, it will consume the seal instead of consuming the components here, the catalyst. So if, if I don't want to lose my catalyst in the chance of a failure, I can use a seal of preservation instead. Here I have 95% chances of succeeding. So I will not use the seal of preservation just yet. I will try to keep the seal of preservation for when the chances to, to fail are like 40% or something like that. Uh, b basically, as, as, uh, as our artifacts go higher in level, the higher the rank and the bigger the chances of failure will be. I think right now at, uh, at rank 100, the chances of failure are like uh, 40%, if I'm not mistaken. But I can guarantee you that as time goes by, our artifacts will be higher than uh, rank 100. By the time we reach, let's say, rank 200, I wouldn't be surprised if the chance of success are like 5% or something. So at that point in time, seals of preservation will probably be really useful by then. So right now, I'm not going to use my seal of preservation for this time, because at 95%, the odds are pretty good that I should be able to succeed. So basically, I'm going to use my Dionysium, and I'm going to use my Superior Dionysium. As you can see, the location to get the Brainiac, the, the, the Superior Dionysium, is the Brainiac Subconstruct. And here, the, the Dionysium, you can get that from the League of Assassin Stronghold. So enough, enough uh, clowning around, let's see if we can actually break through. So we succeeded. So basically, once you reach level uh, rank 60, we're still going to need uh, various uh, components. So here you can see the components we need are in Shadowlands, are in uh, Trigon's Prison, and are in the Gates of Tartarus. So basically, before I reach uh, rank 60, I'm going to need to gather those components. Uh, the Gates of Tartarus is a once a week uh, mission. So sadly, I'm only going to be able to play it once. Although, I'm not sure for the, the, the Catalyst. Uh, I'm not sure if the Catalyst, if you have to reset the mission in order to be able to farm for the Catalyst, uh, I would have to check it out for that. But um, just to be on the safe side, the Gates of Tartarus are our weekly mission. So I doubt you will find people uh, to, who will want to play daily, but you never know. Uh, Trigon's Prison is a once a day mission, and the same with the Shadowlands. And also, it is indicated, if you look at the on-duty menu, like if we go to the League of Assassins, you can see now they've added the catalyst you can obtain. Like if you look on the screen, you will see that the catalyst you can get in this mission is the Dionysium. The same if we go to uh, let's get to let's go to the gates of Tartarus. So again, you can see the catalyst here, a concentrated uh, mystic lighting. So if we were to go through all the missions, we could get and see which missions actually act actually gives uh, some catalyst. 
Like you can see here, artifacts from the past, it gives concentrated quantum field energy. I suspect that in the long run, as time goes by, uh, more and more missions will give a catalyst. And I wouldn't be surprised if the long run, if every single mission actually gives uh, some sort of uh, component for future crafting. I guess we're gonna have to we're going we're going to have to wait and see for that, but basically it gives basically it gives a, a reason for high level players to go back into low level missions in order to be able to get the the, the catalyst that they're looking for. Uh, I'll probably make a, a video about all the the, the various catalysts and where you can get them at some point. Uh, just not today. So as you can see, so we've upgraded our artifact up to rank uh, 40. So now we're going to have to keep on feeding it in order to bring it to rank uh, 60. So at rank 60, we're going to get 1% uh, vitalization. And at rank... Oh, I want to click too many. At rank 80, we're going to get the 3% health, 1% precision. And we're going to get the Azarathian Fortitude uh, thingy. Basically, the Azarathian Fortitude is that whenever we're going to, go to use our group power heal, we're also going to give some health at the same time. So we can, we're not doing it right now, but at some point, we're going to be able to do it. So I guess that's going to be it for, for now. So um, once we reach, uh, once our catalyst, once our artifact actually re reach uh, rank 60, uh, I might a, make a follow-up video. Uh, we'll see. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.